Lucy Rich FaceTime had voicemail. Hi! <laughs> Watch this. Hey guys, Nancy here. Welcome back to my channel. Arnell Armand started a wig series on her channel, so I had to start a wig series on my channel. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I just was watching her dye hair and I was just like so inspired to dye hair because like I know that feeling like when your wig turns out right like you really really and truly like your energy is different like like the cosmos the universe everything is great your bank account could have zero dollars in it but you feel good about yourself honey like because your wig is hitting differently your makeup looks better like everything like I understand that like <laughs> I'm like baby girl like when I'm watching her I'm like yes with the colors so I'll link her series down below it was a process, but we're here. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, all the details will be linked down below. If you're interested in seeing the color that I accomplished in the thumbnail, then just keep watching. So we are turning this pink, almost cotton candy-ish dream. She was. Um, and I want to transform her into something else today. So I just wanna show you guys what she was looking like before. I know there's a way that you can take color out with like baking soda and a clarifying shampoo and Dawn dish soap, but I'm lazy. So I went on Walmart's site and I got this colorless hair color remover um, and it's like a simply wash type thing. The only thing is, is I was shopping, I was shopping online because obviously we're in a pandemic. It says on the box, which I would have been able to see if I was in the store that it's not necessarily for fashion colors it's more for like blonde and brunette colors so we'll see how this goes if it doesn't pan out I will definitely do the DIY version of this so I'm not even gonna show you guys everything that happened with this color remover because it didn't work so at this point I'm at about the third step in the process and I could tell that it wasn't gonna work so I didn't want to show you guys how to use it because if you're interested you definitely can buy it but it didn't work so it's kind of pointless to the process I just wanted to let you guys know that it did happen because it did take up some of the color and did change the pink to a more like fluorescent pink so if you see it in the next step and it's a bit brighter that's why but I just wanted to include it more so for your knowledge but not because I think it's a step that you need to include at all so let's start recording before my battery dies but I'm trying this do-it-yourself method that I found on YouTube. This is by Paris Danielle. So essentially, I'm going to need hot water, baking soda, Dawn dish soap, and a clarifying shampoo. So I just put a container in my sink and this is the wig. You guys can see it's way more like a hot pink now than it was like the color that I had it. So that does mean that it, the thing that I used did work. It's just not the best. And she did do several rounds, but she said, you know, if you wanna try like one good round and let it sit for a while, it might be better. So I'm going to try to do one long round and let it sit for like 20 minutes and come back to it. And I'm put this girl in here. And I can already tell that it's working because the color of the water is now purple. So that's a good sign, because that means some of the color on the hair is already coming off. Yes, that's good, amazing. This is like science, wonderful. This is what we're looking at. Make sure I'm recording. 
and it already looks like 10 times better like it's lifting actually like this is a nice lighter pink like I can tell that some of the pigments gone there's lots of soap in it which kind of sucks because it's just like you can't really see it but like it's fading So I'm gonna leave it to sit again another 20 minutes. Ah, I'm so excited. I can already see like blonde poking through there. <laughs> Whoa. And again, we'll let this sit for like 20 minutes. I think 20 is a good number. It could possibly be longer, but I think 20 is good because you can kind of see where it's going to go. And if you're, like I said before with the first steps that I took, if you're removing pigment, there is a chance that it could go right back onto the hair because it's sitting in there too long. So right now we're at a step where there isn't that much pigment. So it is very possible that I could leave it at this point longer. Okay, girls and ghouls. This looks pretty, pretty blonde. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually insane. Why did I tilt it this way? Idiot. Okay, there we go. So we're going to tone the hair. Um, I did record the voiceover for this. Well, not the voiceover. I did talk while I was doing this, but I just found myself competing with the water. So I, like I was dumb and I was speaking at the same time that I had the water on. So I'm going to tone the hair. I'm just using hot water from my tap and the Shimmer Light Shampoo. Remember this acts as a shampoo, so it doesn't have to be on the hair long. Um, this is a trick from Miss Rosh Posh, and uh, it works every time. Like honestly, I've done it before. I did it for my silver wig, and um, it basically helped make that color that color. Um, but for this purpose, I don't want it to be all the way silver. I just want it to be not as yellow and to get rid of any remaining pink that may be in the wig. So I thought that this would be like a quick step to do just to kind of calm everything down that's going on there and then get it ready for blue, purple realness that, you know, I want. So I'm taking out the hair and this is exactly what I'm going for. The hair looks more white um, and not as yellow and brassy. So this was perfect. I got it spot on. Now I'm just rinsing out the hair really quickly and I wanted to show you guys what it should look like at this step, which is more like a platinum blonde, a softer blonde which is like totally wearable on its own, but again, not what we're going for. So this hair shed so much. Um, this is the same vendor that I use for my silver wig, but this one is way worse than the silver one. The silver one did shed a little bit, but that's to be expected with wigs. But like, look, I'm just combing it out and chunks, chunks are coming out. So I'm gonna put the vendor down below, but it's totally up to you guys if you wanna buy this hair and totally understandable if you don't. So these are the colors I'm using, African Violet and Platinum. I only had African Violet, again, in a pandemic, and I figured the Platinum will soften African Violet. So I'm gonna mix the two. Um, I'm just sectioning the hair right now into two braids for the front chunks. In hindsight, I should have done this on the mannequin head because I could exactly measure out where this was going to hit on my head. I'm not super mad about it, like where they fell and how much hair I did dye and how much hair I did section up. I'm not really mad about it. But for someone who is doing this and you wanna be very meticulous, I would recommend you do this step on a mannequin head and measure out exactly where the blocks are gonna fall to avoid over dyeing. In my case, I got lucky. It wasn't too bad, it still looks cute. But this is a critical step in the sense that you could dye too much hair and not get the desired look. Now I'm just cutting out the clips. I've been meaning to do this forever. I hate having clips in my wigs. So I am just cutting those out to get rid of them for this install and for wearing the wig in future in general, because that 
they're not black girl friendly. I hate those things. So I cut them out and then I'm gonna slap some Vaseline all over this frontal. Like, and when I say slap, I mean slap. Like I put so much Vaseline, like I probably used half that tub of Vaseline. I'm kidding. I didn't use half the Vaseline, but I was very, very generous. Like you can see the Vaseline is white. Vaseline is supposed to be clear. I was like, it was thick. Like I didn't care. Um, I used way too much, so <laughs> please don't do that. Um, I don't think you need this much because in my case, when I started rinsing out the hair, a lot of the Vaseline got on the hair, which it didn't hurt the hair. I'm just letting you know that if you use as much as you see me using, expect that your hair is gonna be greasy. And this is just so that the blue doesn't bleed onto the lace. So I'm just basically trying to protect the lace from being dyed blue and keep it that natural color. So now we're gonna get into the dye. I have hot water in my bucket and African violet looked really, really violet, which is basically what I was trying to show you. So I ended up adding lots of platinum. And then I thought, why not add in some shimmer lights? So one, it's purple. Two, it's meant to tone. So it will calm down any excessive purple. I did a strand test with like the end of my braid and I could see it was like a nice periwinkle. So I was like, let's do this. I dipped the whole wig in and it was a very nice light blue. I'm totally satisfied at this point with how it's looking and I'm thinking, you know what? I can do another round of this. So that's basically what I did. So again, I'm doing a second round, getting this beautiful periwinkle color, and then I'm just dipping the ends because I wanted it to be ombre. And if you've seen my little snippet in the beginning, this is how I got it to be ombre, um, was just like taking my time. Then I believe this is just violet. So this is where I wanted to do my accent pieces and the bottom ombre. So I did the two braids in the front and I was very generous because like I said, it picks up the pigment really quickly. Then I thought, oh my gosh, these are in braids. So you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get tie-dye frontal and I don't want that. So I undid the braids and then dipped it back in and kept like working the color and pigment through that section of hair. And then I went in, which sorry if I'm blocking, and dipped the bottom of the hair to get that ombre effect. Wow, it wasn't recording. So I just realized I didn't wash out the Vaseline. I just got really excited to get it in here and get the purple out of my sink. So I just ran in here, but like this is what it looks like, which is super cute, I think. So for now, I'm gonna go shampoo it and come back and we'll blow dry it. Let's just get into this install because I'm really excited. So I started doing this lately because one, I don't like braiding my hair. Two, I usually just film, like we're in quarantine. I usually just film and um, that be it. Like I'm about to take this off. So I had to find a way that was kind of like semi-permanent like I really don't want to have to do anything to keep this install on long like I want to be able to take it off right after I'm done filming but I also want it to look it's best for you guys so I'm gonna put it on actually before I do that this might need some makeup 
on the lace. Arnel Armand started a wig series and I wanted to start a wig series. So, so she tried this airbrush legs um, thing to tint lace. I also, I'm gonna confirm for her, cause she was like, I don't know where I saw this. I think it was Raven Elise and it was, I'm pretty sure it was Raven Elise who did this first. And I was kinda like, that looks weird. I don't know if I'm gonna do this. But then I was at Walmart and I was like, you know what, just try it. It won't hurt to try. So we're gonna do that. It literally just says shake well and spray directly into hand and apply it onto legs and feet. Since we're applying it onto a lace wig, I'm just going to shake well and make sure nothing important is on my floor or behind it. And I'm gonna spray it. So this is in deep glow. Although they put white lights on the front, it's for deep glow. Focus on the color of the tan, not the color of the lady's legs. Cause that's, I was like, literally I picked this up and Tyler was like, where are you going with that sis? And I was like, um, sir. And this was really scaring me cause I thought I tinted my hair lace blue, but it's just the hair kind of like poking through. Cause I was really, really scared, but it's not the lace. So anyways, let's start there. Oh, this has a lock. Child lock, eh? I'm never smarter than this. Ooh. The undertones may not be perfect, but it is like instant. Whoa, this actually might be a new trick. I had to try it because this will save so much time in comparison to like makeup. And I'm just gonna literally pop it on my head from now because I'm wearing a wig cap. Don't really care. Ooh, it did get on my face though. Okay, so I'm gonna do my, like the hair is basically done. So it's like me doing my makeup is kind of stupid, but like I'm still gonna do it so you guys can get into it, like all of this, cause this is what she looks like. Oh, that looks, this side is so cute. Like I'm really like, I'm gonna cut this side maybe after this video is done. I don't wanna chance it. Like, you know when you get too cocky and you're kind of like, I can for sure do anything. Like, yes, you should have that attitude, but sometimes you need to know when to hold that because this looks so cute. But like, if I mess it up, <laughs> then I'm gonna be mad. So, so I'm just gonna stay close because I look so good. <laughs> also, you may have noticed I cut the other side. I did it. Um, I just left the wig on my head and I was like, you know what? I think that it needs to be done. And I think that people will be happy with the decision I made that it just looks all in all much better this way. It's a cute cut. The color is bomb. I'm really upset that it looks lavender on camera because my next wig that is in the mail, coming whenever it does come, is supposed to be lavender. So it's gonna look like ridiculous if I'm reviving and dyeing all these wigs and I have two lavender ones. But let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing the second lavender one. That, oh, this looks so good, wow. That one will be like using lavender dye, whereas this was using African violet and silver, and this is how, you know, this came out. But like, damn, like I actually snapped, like, <laughs> I told you guys, I need to do my makeup to get the energy on a hundred. And then once the energy's on a hundred, like, whew. And the movement after cutting it, even though with the Vaseline up in here. Yes, yes. Ooh, 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 stiff well, stiff well. For real, stiff well. Ooh, ooh, no well. Stiff well. Well. No. Yes. It's crazy, like, oh my gosh, I snapped. And I like the fact that I did decide to ombre it because it looks good with the contrast of the front pieces. I honestly, I'm in love, like, I'm in love. I'm in a good ass mood because my hair turned out good. Like honestly, yesterday I was kind of panicked when the pink dye did not come out. But honestly, now that we are here, so good vibes only, thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Um, and as always, subscribe to me. I'll be leaving a button somewhere around here for you to subscribe to me. I want to again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.